Okay, now we come to this demonstration called the love meter and how it shows the, the validity of the ideal gas law. This uh, design comes in all different kinds of designs and in the past it was called the, the uh, love meter, right? And so basically all it is is just basically uh, two tubes, uh, two spheres, and it's connected with a tube and then it's got some liquid in here. Okay, the color is red, but it doesn't have to be red. And the idea is that when you hold this, when a person holds here with their hand, right, and then uh, their hand is going to be warm, the warmer their hand, it's going to warm up the air in here. And then the ideal gas law says PV is equal to NRT. So the volume is constant in here. So then it's just pressure is proportional to temperature, right? So the warmer your hand is, the hotter that the glass bulb is going to get and the hotter the air in here is going to get, right? The temperature in here. If your hand is warm, the temperature in here is going to get hotter. That means the pressure is also going to increase, right? When the pressure increases, it will push the liquid. It will push the liquid up the tube. And if you are very hot, and that, well, that's why this is called a love meter. If you are very hot, all of the liquid will make its way to the top, right? And none of it will be found here. So you can kind of see it's going to go flow up, 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 and at the end, the liquid is going to be here, right? And if you are hotter, what's going to happen, even the air here is going to start flowing up to the top, and it's going to make it look like this is boiling. So the actual air particles from here start making their way up, right? Because the pressure gets very, very uh, high. The air particles start going up, and then they go in here, right inside of the liquid and they make the liquid as if the liquid is actually boiling so that means you're actually really really hot now not only were you able to get all of the liquid to the top but you were able to make that liquid look like it's boiling these kind of glass tubes that, that are called love meters come in all different kinds of designs there are some designs that look like this with a whirl like a spiral and maybe another sphere here and then uh the the liquid will make its way up to the top from here all the way up to the spiral and go all the way up to the top and boil it at the top, right? So let's see here what will happen. You can see here how it looks like this. So basically there is nothing there, it's just air. And this one is there's air and there's also the liquid, uh, the red liquid here. So now if I hold it, see how it's going up to the top? It's going up to the top, it's going up to the top. Not all, all of it went to the top, right? So I am not that hot, okay? So you can see here, I love me. Okay, now it's getting going, right? More of it went up to the top. I'll get closer. Now let's see if I exercise, you know, am I gonna get hotter? So if I move around, my temperature goes up right? And if I'm running a fever, I'm also going to get hotter and the liquid is going to go more up. Let's see, it's trying to go up, but gravity is making, gravity is causing it to go back down. You see here? Okay, so I made more of it go up. If I kind of work out and do this, my internal temperature might increase a tad, tad bit and cause the more of the liquid to boil and go up, right? So you can kind of see here, there's still some left here. There's actually most of it still left here and then some of it here, right? Let's see if I hold it. Okay, so what you, people used to do is give it to from person to person and actually uh, see which person is hotter and then that person had more love in them. Well, what I could do is also try to put it over this hot water beaker right here. Okay, now I've heated up this water and you can kind of see I'm using the heat of the water to pump the liquid up the tube. And you can see it's going up faster. Now, if I go like this, you can see it. If I tilt it a bit, and then I go like this, it goes up, and you can actually see the boiling effect happening. You see, so the hot, the hot liquid on the bottom is being pushed up on incline, and then it's actually the air particles are actually moving there and making it look like it's boiling too. You see, this is a good illustration of the. The fact that as the temperature goes up, pressure goes up, and it makes the liquid go up against the, the force of gravity, okay? So use this if you have a chance to do a love test to see who has more love, okay? Thank you very much.